Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time if it's your first time tuning in. Tonight what I want to do is I want to talk to you about some thoughts I had about artificial intelligence. I know, shocker, AI on this channel? I never heard of it before. But seriously, I have been thinking a lot about AI, but for this video I want to talk to you about something, about a problem that I don't know if AI can actually solve. Because we talk a lot about what AI can do for us in terms of bringing abundance, in terms of uh, making scientific breakthroughs and making the lives of every human on this planet better in some way. There are still some issues in terms of equitably distributing the benefits of that, which I'm not going to talk about in this video, but it's something else I've been thinking a lot about, especially because I'm from San Francisco. It's currently the ground zero of AI palooza. And you can just look down the street and you can see there is just this imbalance in terms of people who are benefiting from this technology and people who are not. And so that's a video for another day. But today what I want to talk about is this concept of Dunbar's number. Now, what is Dunbar's number? It's this hypothetical upper bound. It's not a, a strict upper bound, but it's this sort of hypothetical upper bound on the number of meaningful relationships that a human can keep track of in their lifetime. And the upper bound for Dunbar's number, I believe is around 150. Maybe it's like 120 to 150, it's, it's in that range. And I think about Dunbar's number a lot actually, because as someone who likes numbers, I think about things in uh, kind of a very quantitative way. Maybe I think about it in ways that normal people who don't think about physics all the time think about it. So I'll, I'll explain it in a way that I think makes sense to most people who don't think in terms of like billions and trillions of numbers. I wanted to describe this in the sense that your a human lifetime, if you live to be like 95 years, is like 3 billion seconds. But if you sleep a third of the time, it's really only 2 billion seconds of, of your perceived awake time. A better way to put that is that if you live to 95 years of age, you really only experience about two thirds of that full time. So something like 62, three, four ish years. And when I think about that, I just think about how time is such an important commodity in our lives and how it kind of makes sense that people optimize for it and, and don't want to waste their time. I mean, I, I try not to waste my time or waste anyone else's time because when you only have two thirds of your full life to experience awake, then that kind of changes your perspective a bit, I think. And the issue of time is one that AI supposedly is trying to fix in the sense that it's going to try and free us from the need to work and we can open up a whole bunch of time in our days. And I was wondering if I had more time in my day, which there's some issue with that in the sense that I don't actually feel like I'm getting a lot of time back in my day, even with these AI tools, but I'll hold on to that for now. If I had more time, would I be able to increase my Dunbar's number? Would I be able to expand the social network of people who I consider to be close to me. And when I was thinking about that, I had a hard time making the case for it in the sense that I don't know if Dunbar's number actually will go up for me or for anyone for that matter. Why am I even considering this idea of expanding Dunbar's number, increasing Dunbar's number? Well, I think, and this is just based on my experience, I think that even those of us who may not consider ourselves the most social, and even at some points maybe even antisocial, which I feel like I can be sometimes, I do think that deep down as humans, we are social creatures and we want social interaction with other humans. Most of us do at least. And I think that meaningful connections with people in our lives is one of the greatest sources of joy. And I would love, I would love to have more time to do that. But I don't know if, if even if AI was able to automate all of my work, which we're still far away from that for me personally, would I be able to increase Dunbar's number? I, I see some major obstacles in the way of AI being able to do that, even if it did automate our work one day. The, the major, I think, 
drawbacks is that we still are just limited by 24 hours in a day and we need to sleep for about a third of that time. The two ways from a physicist's perspective, when I think about this in terms of like a physics problem, if we move close to the speed of light, then technically time slows down, but we'll still feel like we're you know, aging at the same rate, even though others looking at us might perceive a different thing. And AI could perhaps invent technology that would do away with our need to sleep, right? Maybe we could invent some pill or, or some sort of device that we just need to, you know, take a pill or, or have this device scan us or whatever, and we, we don't need to sleep or something like that. I don't know. This is some crazy sci-fi, but you get what I mean. I'm just trying to say that imagine if we just freed up the full 24 hours of our day and we could just do whatever the heck we wanted unencumbered by things like sleep or work, for example. Even in that case, I don't necessarily think that my Dunbar's number goes up because I just think that naturally we would want to spend more time with the people we already vibe well with. And I have a hard time thinking about ways where I'd want to really expand that. I mean, yes, I like to meet new people, but this is one thing too that I find a bit sad about just our limitations as as humans living as as like non-cybernetically enhanced android things. Not that I said not that I really want to do that, but I'm just saying because of our natural limitations of like the need to eat and sleep and those things take time, we don't have the luxury of really getting to know everyone we would want to know, I think. I think there's a lot of interesting people in the world. There are a couple hundred or so people on Instagram I follow who I've met through various events or conferences or in grad school or at one point or another. But it's like, I don't think I have enough time, even if I didn't have to work or sleep and I didn't extend my lifetime. Let's just say, you know, the average human lifetime just stays the same but we just get to experience the full time of it without without sleeping or eating. I still think that we wouldn't have enough time to do all the things that involve building human relations. I mean, there's enough content on YouTube or on TV or on Netflix or whatever to fill up a whole human lifetime already. And even if we had those extra hours of sleep and, and eating uh, to ourselves, we still wouldn't be able to watch all the different you know, TV and media and stuff. There's just too much, right? And same goes with human relation building. There's, there's just too many people. I'm very interested in this idea of things that AI really can't solve because it's. It, I think it just kind of speaks to maybe things that are more, I don't want to say important, but something something that, in, that involves value. Things that are just so precious that even with all our augmentations that we get um, from technology like AI, it still doesn't really fundamentally move the needle in some meaningful way. Now, of course, if we just live forever and we had you know, eternal lifetimes, then I guess we do have time to meet and talk to everyone we wanted to talk to and whatnot. But again, all that sounds like in the land of science fiction. And I'm trying to stay as close to scientific reality as much as possible, even though it does seem with artificial intelligence, we are starting to cross over into some pretty wacky territory, especially when it comes to things like text to video models i mean i i don't know if you've seen some of this stuff on instagram and tiktok but some of the stuff looks really good and really realistic and it's it's kind of cool concerning maybe both i don't know but anyways i think i've rambled quite a bit in this video but i want to take some time to appreciate you guys as an audience for listening to me and i'd love to know what you guys think in terms of what are areas that you think AI really will not be able to fundamentally change or move the needle in terms of things like increasing Dunbar's number and, and giving us more time to connect with everyone we're really interested in. Honestly, it seems to me, right, that's kind of just like an ideal. Like the reality right now is that like AI, while people are integrating it into their workflows, I don't really know. We really feel like we're that much more productive in a way in the sense that yeah maybe we're more productive but we just get more work and therefore it just kind of naturally reaches a new equilibrium like we can do more therefore we get more to do work and it's not like we have to work less that's at least how it feels like in this 
capitalistic society we're in now. Maybe I should make a video about that in the coming days. But anyways, thank you for entertaining my weird thoughts at night. I really appreciate being able to share my thoughts on the internet with you all. And uh, I want you to know out there that if you're worried and kind of nervous about AI technology and you're thinking that the world's kind of in this weird, funky place, you're definitely not alone. I think that a lot. Sometimes I think to myself, like, what am I doing? Like, what? how am I even like functioning in this world today with all the different things going on? And I don't know. I, I get really existential and philosophical if you can't tell, which is why videos like this exist. So anyways, thanks for watching. I will be back and uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye.